So this is it, Android 15 Beta 4 is here and sadly it's the last preview before the stable release of Android 15, hopefully very soon. What's new? We'll stick around to find out. You know the deal though, subscribe to the channel for more awesome Android 15 content right here at 9to5Google. We dive into every facet of your favourite OS and everything else in between. Hit the join button to become a channel member and get access to all of our exclusive content including our Android 15 Beta 4 wallpaper pack inspired by 90s video game water levels right now plus all of our previous wallpaper packs and behind the scenes content. You know it makes sense, so hit the join button to learn more. So as I mentioned, this is it. This is the final beta for Android 15. That means the next time I speak to you about Android 15 releases rolling out, it'll be a stable launch. We don't know yet when that is gonna be, but this is the second release focused on platform stability, which means everything within the system is being finalized before release. So that does mean, sadly, there ain't a ton of changes here. The first I wanna highlight is the July 2024 security patch. If you have been running the Android 15 beta on your devices, especially your default device, everything is now safe and secure with the latest patches and play system update also dated July 2024. So you're safe and secure no matter what you do with your Android 15 beta 4 running device. The Android 15 Easter egg is now live here as well, but the bad news is that this is effectively the same Easter egg as Android 14, just with a tiny little extra tweak thrown in. So to enable this, you'll need to go to settings, about, Android version, and then tapping that Android 15 button and holding down the Android 15 logo. This will launch into that space exploration game for Android 14, and now here in Android 15. It is hard to find planets here. The aim of the game is to find planets and suns, but when you do now land on a planet, you can plant a little flag to say you've been there. That's it. That's the only change to this particular Easter egg, which is a shame as I kind of wanted something new, but it is nice to see Google at least adding a little bit something extra if they're going to run with the same thing. Within Android 15 Beta 4, there are also a couple of minor UI naming changes, including a new name for the Maximize Text Contrast option. This is now shown as High Contrast Text. It also has a new explanation that I think is a little bit better. This just reads change text color to black or white and maximizes contrast with the background. It's nice to see Google making changes here because a lot of these options in the settings section can sometimes be a little bit confusing and it's nice to see clear, concise language being used. Another change in the settings section also alters the display section, at least the header itself to display and touch. This is the exact same menu as before, but because it collates all of the touch options, it should now make more sense when you're trying to find touch screen options as well. It just collates them all in one place, makes it easy to find right from the main settings view. Within this new display and touch section, if you tap the brightness level option, the slider here is also a bit shorter and narrower than in previous builds. It isn't quite edge to edge and it actually floats a bit lower in the screen and no longer blocks the back button in the upper left. You might not change the brightness here very often, but it is nice to see some minor changes, at least some consistency, and it doesn't block another important UI portion getting you back into the settings menu. Adaptive vibration has also returned with Android 15 Beta 4. This was removed in a previous release, but now comes back, so hopefully it does mean it's gonna work as intended moving forward. Effectively, this should adjust vibration strength based upon the environment your phone is within, so stronger vibrations on certain surfaces and stuff like that. I can't say for certain it works right now, but we will test it out later for sure, and hopefully come the stable release, I'll have a better idea if it does make a difference. Another minor change is that the updated screenshot preview, the one with the rounded corners, now fully respects the system theme that you've set on your device. It'll now adhere to the dark theme with darkened edges and lighter edges when the light mode is enabled. So the biggest change in Android 15 Beta 4 is a brand new device diagnostic section. So this is another expansion of the testing and repair tools that also includes the repair mode, which is separate here for Pixel devices. But this option does allow you to troubleshoot yourself or for a friend. You'll find this new section in system and then device diagnostics. It has two distinct sections, component health and evaluation mode. The component health mode has some good test options baked in. I'll start with the battery status section though, because this has actually restored the battery health metrics which were removed previously in Android builds. This now shows you the overall battery health, the manufacturing date, and the first usage of the battery, plus the total battery cycle count. And that is just not to 100% battery usage that counts as one cycle. I think this is gonna be really useful for knowing when you might need a battery replacement, and I'm really glad that Google has brought this back. The display test feature is a full test of the responsiveness, the performance, 
and the calibration of your Pixel screen. This guides you through a series of simple tests. The first is a color calibration test, which shows you greens, reds, and blues. You can, you can basically rate this if you do happen to have defects. There's also a touch test function that tests to see if the digitizer and touch responsiveness is all within the right levels. The screen lights up fully red, and then you swipe your finger around to turn the display to white. And if you have any areas that don't respond or change color, you can determine if there is an issue with your screen panel and it might alleviate some of the problems you may be having, making it super useful. The storage status option is pretty interesting as it tells you the lifespan of the flash storage on your phone as a percentage. And basically flash memory has a finite number of read and write cycles before it can with actually start to degrade itself. This tool just gives rough estimates of the health of your on-device storage, plus it tells you the on-device capacity too. It's unlikely you'll ever hit anywhere below 50%, but it does help you diagnose if there's a problem with the storage on your phone. Evaluation mode is another tool that lets you test your Pixel from another trusted device. This actually requires location permissions, a data connection, and your camera to do the test. What you do is you scan a QR code. It will run you through the tests on the device you're testing as uh, available in the other modes. And then it will eventually send a report to another phone once you've completed the display calibration tests and anything else. From there, you can send that on to a repair center or whatever it happens to be, or use that to help diagnose problems. It's another nice option for people who maybe want to help out friends and family who don't know what they're doing. Although it may require that you need to be close to that person and can't do this from afar, it is important to note that this is for people who know what they're doing, not just random people on the street. So rightly or wrongly, that's all of the features in Android 15 Beta 4. I must admit, I can't say performance feels any, or at least majorly different. I think it's smooth. I've yet to see any major bugs or massive performance uplifts on the opposite side of the coin. Some of the major bugs from the previous beta have been fixed here from what we can tell. Uh, first off, the 0% battery level when you power on your Pixel for the first time again has now been fixed. So it should be accurate when you restart or power back on after flashing the OTA or downloading on your device. One of the biggest problems that we noticed was the major lock screen bugs that actually required constant authentication. Not everyone was afflicted by this, but it has been fixed here in beta four as far as we can tell. Google has also listed a ton of other fixes. I'll leave a link to the change log in the description too, if you do want to read that or need that, it'll help you get a better idea of what is running here. But for the most part, this is a pretty stable beta from what we can tell. But that is everything in the Android 15 beta, at least officially. And this is the last update we're gonna see before the stable release. There may be a beta 4.1 update. Um, that will probably be launched as a release candidate build. That should fix any last minute bugs and issues for all intents and purposes though. This is basically what Android 15 will eventually be and what will come to other devices. Beta 4 is pretty much that right now. Everything is practically finalized. So don't expect anything huge or anything huge to be added between now and then. And that basically concludes all of our deep dives into the beta phase. I'm super excited for that stable release. And to celebrate, I'll be giving a couple of wallpapers away if we hit 2000 likes on this video. Our channel members, they get exclusive early access to our water bubble pack right now. And those legends are on screen now. I wanna say thanks for supporting us throughout the entire Android 15 developer preview and the beta phase. And it's all that's left for me to say is cheers for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this and I will speak to you later.